Hey everybody and welcome to this video about how you install xdebug with PHP. Uh, I'm currently on this xdebug website here and there is a there's a download link here where you can get the xdebug for your particular PHP version here and uh, if you're a little unsure what version of PHP you're running there is also a wizard, a tailored installation that will use the output of your PHP info. And PHP info, what is that? Well, if you are, I'm running exam here, and I can actually see the PHP version here, 737. But PHP includes also the info output that will tell you what the version is. And then you can basically select everything, and you can put this into the text box here, and then you can tell xdebug to analyze it. And that is going to help you a lot because it tells you that the PHP version is 737. It's going to tell you which file you need to download in order to uh, get xdebug. And we're just going to click on that here. And that means we're going to download it. If I want to actually keep it, I want to keep it. So it's going to download the DLL here and it tells us that we need to move the file to our extensions library of PHP. So we get just going to go to our download folder here and we're going to copy this one there. And we're going to copy this to C and then exam and PHP. And then we have the X there. Just going to copy there. So we have our file right here. If you want, you can rename it a little bit shorter just to xdebug. Yep. Then we need to put this line, send extension, boom, inside the PHP ini file. And this is also located in exam, PHP, and PHP ini. This can, the location of PHP ini can vary a little bit depending on if you're using MAMP or exam or if you have another web server running PHP. But we can open up in our editor, we can open up exam. Let's have a look here, PHP. Scroll down to find PHP. There it is, PHP source file. So now we need to tell PHP that we have actually downloaded xdebug and we want to enable it in PHP. So we're gonna first make an X debug section here and we're gonna say send extension equals uh, let's just see here oh. oh that was a bit too much I think I copy a little bit too much here so send extension exam PHP X X debug that's the first one then we need to type in X debug remote Enable equals one x debug remote auto start equals one, and that should do it. Then we save the file here, and we need to go to exam to restart Apache, a web server, and that is done here. And let's have a look in our what PHP info tells us now. If we refresh this one here. So if we search for xdebug, we can see now that we have xdebug support. And we can also check here that remote enabled is set to on. So it is, it is basically installed right now. Now we need to configure our editor to actually work with xdebug. All right. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye-bye.